Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a flapping reptile with a beak as big as a bathtub. Like some weird combination of a stork and a giraffe, but with the table manners of a hyena. No! Not the baby dinosaur! Have you no soul? Oh, and down in one mouthful. This is quite simply the biggest creature ever known to have got airborne, and it scoffed baby dinos for breakfast. No modern flying animal comes even close to its size. So how on earth will we get a sense of scale? To do that, we're going to take to the skies for a second time. The conditions are absolutely perfect. The sky is blue, there isn't any wind. And this time, I'm going up in a Bell Long Ranger helicopter, the very fastest we could find. Thankfully, though, it can't do loop-the-loops. Well, at least I hope it can't. And I've got the very, very best seat in the house, up front, next to the pilot. Now, obviously, Hatsikopteryx was nothing like a helicopter, but we're going to fly out and meet up with something mid-air that was very similar. Oh, look at that! The south coast of England and these white cliffs are one of the most important places on the planet for dinosaurs. Some of the very first fossils were found here and some of the most important of the pterosaurs. There couldn't be a better place for an encounter with an iconic piece of British military history. And I'm pretty sure it's coming up behind me right now. Oh! <laughs> Amazing! Did you see that? It came past like a rocket. The Spitfire, the greatest sight of the Battle of Britain in World War II. Coming round for another pass. I feel like I'm in a dogfight. a huge part of the history of our country. The Spitfire, it is such a marvel of engineering. Lightweight, fast, maneuverable. In so many ways, it is the absolute perfect comparison for Hatsikopteryx. First of all, the dimensions. From wingtip to wingtip, 11 meters, exactly the same. And then that lightweight structure is so similar to the bones of our giant pterosaur. Look at it, banking and weaving, soaring over the landscape in exactly the same way that the giant pterosaurs would have done. Imagine an animal of that size that could fly with that agility. Nowhere would have been safe. It must have been simply terrifying. Hatsikopteryx, the largest animal ever to take to the skies and the top predator in its world. There is no doubt that it was a flying marvel and definitely deadly.